Right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the third quarterfinal between Doc Mark and Varkson. Um, Varkson won the toss and chose to kick with his woodies. And uh, there you go. Yeah, Doc Mark. Doc Mark's dwarves. I mean, let's pause it and look at the skills. Doc Mark's got a weird team because he's got an amazing runner, absolutely amazing runner, movement seven, strength four, agility four, blodge, outstanding vampire runner. He's got this one's pretty nice as well. Wrestle, tackle, strip, edge four. So he's got two pretty nice runners, like a defensive one and an offensive one. He's got a strength up, but he's only got three guard on a dwarf team, um, and only three mighty blow on a dwarf team as well. So he's got a really it's it's a very light dwarf team. It's uh, to say it's like eighteen hundred TV. There's not a lot to it. It's pretty bare bones. Um, Varkson, on the other hand, <laughs> has like five uh, five loners. <laughs> <laughs> five journeymen and he's got a wizard but uh you know his team's destroyed really his team's absolutely destroyed so he's got he's got an edge five um he's got an edge five catcher he's got one dancer <laughs> and he's got a babe and a wizard as inducements so um yeah that's uh while while doc mark's team isn't very exciting i think Varkson's team is even less exciting. And there's a death on the first turn. <laughs> don't be mean, try. Please don't be mean. I don't want anybody to be mean. Uh, <laughs> he did. Maybe this was bait with a sidestep. Um, also, Dot Mark just based these two. It doesn't not blitzing him. Uh, that was pretty bizarre. But there you go. And he does what I would have done, which was pick up and then hand off to get away. I quite like that play of picking up and handing off to the runner. But no blitz that turn. Um, so a bit of a bit of a boo boo there from Doc Mark, I think. And yeah, you know these bases mean that he gets to blitz one. And then block, obviously he's got Lonus, he's going to blitz first, then block. First turn take root, always good. But it's quite, it's in a decent spot, at least, when it's taken root. Um, it's in a decent spot, isn't it? <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> and Ruin's uh, runner is the originator of the, the ginger cunt, is fucking jacked. <laughs> and he is, he is, he is amazing. He is an amazing runner. Yeah, I might not have moved the tree. <laughs> I might not have moved the tree there because he's in a decent spot. I only like to move them if they're not in a decent spot or if they're three dicing the fuck out of somebody. But you know, you can't blame him for wanting to get in on two dwarves. It's really good if it's if it's occupying two dwarves. It's pretty good, isn't it? So I can see him wanting to do that. You don't really want to be into three because then it's it's too kind of too easy in the two D. But then if they commit half the team, it's okay, isn't it? So he was going to lose cage here. There's there's a good there's a good shout for the wizard here. Um. This final move, I think, shows it up. But you could you could think about bowling here, and uh, you know, <laughs> blitzing. I don't know what. <laughs> if he had leap, you could think about bowling, because um, maybe first turn you could have done. I don't know. I, I forgot to think about the bolt turn one. Maybe you could have just bolted turn one. Um, But you know, the edge five, he doesn't really care if it goes in a tackle zone, does he? But that that diamond tackle was occupying a fair amount of space, and obviously no well, one guard, two guard for the for the woodies. That was nice to blitz him away from the diamond tackle to not have to dodge. It was a nice, nice spot that blitz for the chain. But obviously he doesn't get the knockdown. Uh, so he's only got one guard that he can apply to the fight, because he's obviously relying on this guy to one turn and to wizard steal. So Plus the one D there, and I mean that was that was that's fair enough, isn't it? You know, he pushes him on a three plus, he dodges on a four plus due to the diamond tackle. Um, I think he'll probably gone for the dodge though. Stops getting hit by mighty blow, doesn't it? He takes up space as well in front of him. Hey. 
Yeah, he, just, he didn't really get the. He didn't, didn't have a chance to get the ball, though, did he? That was the problem with the wizard. Yeah, if it scatters forward, you're in bad times because he had that much guard up there. It would be hard to get the hits in to get it loose. Both guards, like you had two guards at the front, so it was a bit tricky that wizard turn. I didn't like it so much. Well, I think I think it's a better wizard this turn. Again, you know, you you can you can uh, you can blitz this guy now, so you can come in here unopposed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, score. So I think this turn's probably better than than last turn. If it goes out here, you can come around there. Got a knock down there, blitz here. I think this turn's a this is a pretty good pretty good turn to bolt here. Does not bolt well. He is going to surf his best player, though, which is pretty good, isn't it? This is a pretty nice surf to get. Rerolls it, but only gets a pow. Jim Shard. I uh, quite like going for the surf there, to be fair. I'm happy with that. I think here he should have blitzed with this 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 Garda. I think the, the Garda here should have blitzed. Go up there. And then uh, move the loner up to get 2D on him. Uh, I think I would have liked that. I didn't like dodging him away and then putting him back in contact, though, because, like, if if you block him, he didn't blitz at all there. If you block him, then obviously he's got to stand firm. So I think just dodge away, tag him, then dodge away is fine. I didn't like getting back in contact to get punched. Yes, the, the 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 dwarf carrier is amazing, and I didn't like the sidestep because the sidestep means he's going to get hit by two dice with mighty blow again. It's his best player, and I think you've got to sidestep away there, haven't you? The you know if he sidesteps away, then he can only block him on one dice. But you just give him a two dice block. Luckily, he doesn't get his armor broken. He's niggled, I believe. No, he's not niggled, but his armor seven, and uh, some some other good player must have been niggled on some team. But um, that's a that's a hell of a player to just get punched. I don't like it. Thirty percent has happened. This there's absolutely no way through, so he couldn't he couldn't bolt this turn. Yeah, yeah, sure, careful, sure. I mean, it, this, and the surf was amazing, wasn't it? If he'd surfed if he'd surfed the diamond tackle, then you really don't want to bolt that turn. Double one there. Ah, it's the it's the other Raj Five Wood Elf Catcher. <laughs> right, thank you, Rama said. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm certainly not I'm certainly not having a go at him bolting. It's just you've got to think about it every turn, haven't you? You've got to. I'm sure. I'm sure Varkson was thinking every turn. Should I bolt this turn? Can I bolt this turn? And I'm sure Duck Mark should have been thinking. Can he bolt this turn and everything? Um, who won today in the semi-finals? Uh, yesterday, uh, the semi-finals were on GFI. I'll be doing the replay today, maybe. Uh, or or, or, have they, or has there been a semi-final done in the Rebel or not? Oh, I don't know. They haven't, not all of the Rebel quarterfinals have been done. There's only been three done so far. So yeah, he gets it. I knew he'd GFI to blitz here. I absolutely knew it. From watching his previous match, I knew he'd GFI to, to blitz here. Uh, and he had three rerolls. It wasn't it wasn't terrible to rely on the on the reroll to get it done. And now I think there's no no chance of a wizard anymore, is there probably? And uh, and also now he's got so far forward that the tree isn't is no longer locking down that side, is he? Which is a shame. Shame for the woodies. The Woodies had kind of, you know, even though he'd rooted, because they were kind of keeping a high line, they were keeping him as the, uh, as kind of the, uh, you know, anchor or whatever the defense, whereas now, the hinge, if whatever you want to call it, whereas now he's gone back, and uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like this going back. I like keeping stuff in here, 
because now he's just opened up the side for Doc Mark to get to get in the middle and get free of the wizard, uh, get free of the tree. And get the DT back in play, yep. Yeah. Alright, yes. Yes, GFI Joe. I did start the stream before I changed the title. And um, that was on last night. You can watch the VOD of that if you want. GFI Joe, that was yesterday, yeah. He's not getting that far forward, but I think against L's, I think you always want to be in the middle, because then you can go either way, can't you? Um, and he can get forward next turn. And he, I mean, he blocked his path. <laughs> he could have got forward an extra square, right? He could have got forward an extra square. Um... But I, I, I didn't like giving him the middle. Again, maybe he could bolt here. Um, the edge five is maybe too far back though. Maybe the edge five could have been forward a square or two. Um, maybe he could have bolted there. I don't know. I think he's probably thinking now he's not going to bolt because he's not going to get the counter score, is he, with only two turns left. So now he's just reduced to try and stop him. Uh, pretty much always bolt when the ball carrier is <laughs> when the when the ball carrier is strength four blodge, and you have one tackle on strength three, then it's a bolt. <laughs> and when you've got edge five to recover as well. So yeah, this is this is never he's never going to fireball here. Basically, I can't see him ever thinking about a fireball in this situation. He's always going to bolt. Always going to bolt that runner. Maybe on offense he could fireball if you know if he was in a trouble. Um. Yeah, the Wood Elf team is is honestly trash. I mean, <laughs> it's absolute trash. He makes this dodge and, and gets cast. Um, and he apples it, but the apple fails. So that's pretty pretty unlucky, isn't it? Um, he, was, he failed because he's at three. <laughs> maybe on ruins, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, with, with this runner, he's got he's got to bolt him, hasn't he? And uh, And then he goes back down the side again here. Just so we can hit the dancer, I guess. I would have much preferred to hit the loner and uh, and get further forward, but fair enough. Yeah, Wood Elves Wizard every game probably. Yeah, and it's it's pretty good, isn't it? Plus one turner. Plus a one turner. <laughs> uh, yeah, usually fireball isn't good. Full stop. But the, you know, against against a strength four edge four runner, you literally you're always going to bolt on for the Wood Elf team. Different uh, chaos team, uh, you know, a chaos team might fireball just for position and stuff. But uh... yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Try, yeah, it's nice to be a team that can just win. I mean, he's got edge five, which is good enough, isn't it? An edge five catcher <laughs> is literally good enough <laughs> to get to the. <laughs> <laughs> to get to the quarterfinals, at least, just by himself. Yeah, sometimes fireballs are good, but usually not a good idea. And now he's just given up on stopping the score, runs away. Protect the edge five, and his positional, fair enough. Three dicer, though, with Mighty Blow. Of course he's gonna, of course he's gonna take that. You can't be scared of the one in forty thousand or whatever it is, can you? <laughs> you've got to, you've got to do the three D with Mighty Blow here. Maybe Vargson could have done a GFI or two to uh, to not take the hit with Mighty Blow, but he doesn't, and he gets hit by Mighty Blow, and he gets cast. And the Vampire Runner scores at his maximum move. <laughs> On the last turn. <laughs> uh, you don't need to get forward if they haven't got a team left. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, man, imagine if aging was done not in number of games, but in minutes played. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? It's an absolutely insane runner, yeah. Absolutely insane. So now we've got the one turn attempt. Let's see what Doc, Doc Mark does. Has he has he learned from the uh, the previous bollocking he got? Um... <laughs> he did get some stick for doing an absolutely atrocious one-turn defense against Andy Devo in the previous round, and he has done a better defense this time. It's still pretty bad. 
because it's still just a just a back line. However, he does have at least tackle everywhere. He, what he probably should have done was he should have probably had you know swapped these two long beards out and had all tackle across the back. But then he's exposing a strength for translator to get trees smashed, which isn't very good, is it? And his runner, and uh, not sorry, his runner, his blitzer to get smashed. So I can understand him not putting those good players, but having all tackle would have been better. Uh, but even then, just a, a proper one turn defense would have been better. You know, like two banks of four, and. Uh, a kind of slightly offset LOS. And this is very easy to get the pushes here for uh, for Varkson. And he sets it up correctly. He doesn't go with the horrible hole method that a lot of people does. He's set it up properly. And he does the handoff in a tackle zone because he's got edge 5. Does the right thing there. He could make this 3 dice. I'm pretty sure he could afford to make this 3 dice. I'm pretty sure this guy could have come around and make it 3 dice. Um, that's why I don't like it 2 squares apart. I like only 1 square apart. Um just to make it harder to get three dice, but, you know. This one's a three dicer, isn't it? But this, this one didn't need, didn't need to be a push, so he could have definitely had another guy out. And uh, it's just this way he had the chance of getting another push, didn't he? I think it was probably worth it to make it three dice, though. And then he rolls the two pluses, and he scores. So, um... So yeah, rule number one: don't backline if you have eleven. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. So there you go. Edge five. Edge five comes up trumps one turner. Well played by Varkson. Rolled the dice. I mean, that's the hardest thing, isn't it? Just successfully rolling the dice. Getting getting the pushes was pretty easy. Getting two pushes is pretty easy, and uh, the important thing was just rolling the dice. <laughs> He did have tackle on every gap, BZL, but he didn't have tackle all the way across. So um, he didn't have tackle on every dodge. He did have tackle. He did have tackle all across, but he didn't have tackle on every dodge. That was the thing. Um, which against dodge five, you kind of want to have tackle on every dodge if you're doing it. But you know, he didn't. Yeah, stopping the pushes is the thing because it's so easy to get two pushes. It was, and especially against dodge five, you've really got to try and stop the pushes, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> Very good try. So yeah, so he's got a chance, hasn't he, Valkton here? He's got the wizard to force through the score if he if he needs it. He's got not much of a team though. Seven players, eight players, eight players, loads of loners. Um, so it's going to be tricky. But he's got an edge five, kind of you know eleven eleven possible squares of movement with edge five on the ball. So while he doesn't want to make all the GFIs, he can, can't he? So he should at least get the score here. It's just how long can he delay? And whether he can keep the wizard for his defensive drive, isn't it? And whether he can score at all as well, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, it is a mistake a lot, dude. That's true, careful. That is true, yeah. Uh, of course not, Mike Machine. Of course not. Of course I don't, Mike. There's another removal. So he, and he gets the he gets the diamond tackle on the leap player. <laughs> That's not, that sounds like a bitchy thing to say, but it's just it's just something that amused me. It's not really bad, is it? I mean, it makes him leap on a three instead of dodging on a two, so it is better than uh, than not doing it. I guess the guard into three dice. I'm not sure about that. Because you're getting you're getting punched back, aren't you, and your arm is seven. Oh, it's because he's running through. Oh, okay. Ouch. I 
There's a reroll gone. It is a bold strategy, Cotton. I think I would have liked to 2D with here. He could have gone. Let's have a look. Was this a mis was this just a terrible mistake by Vaxen? Let's have a look. What was he doing with this block? Hmm. I guess he was hoping to like push him to there and then go here and then use the tree as a to block off the back. But he could have just blitzed this guy, couldn't he? I think that'd been better. One, two, three, four. Hit him on two dice, and then five, six, seven. And then you, you can't hit the ball, can he? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Oh, maybe he can. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Oh, yeah, so... The ball, if you move the dancer here... One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Yeah, so you could have put the dancer there. I think he should have two dice blocked and uh, put the dancer there. But I think that was a bit of a mistake by Varkson, because now it's 2D on the ball. With tackle and mighty blow. So yeah, that was. I think that was a big mistake going for the one D instead of the two D up there. He's got his vampire. Will his vampire dodge in? That's the question. Probably. Three plus. He fails it. He's armor eight. Oh, he's stunned. <laughs> Imagine if he died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he, he should have blitzed. He should have blitzed the guy using his guard assist. Shouldn't he? Is what he should have done. I'm pretty, pretty confident. Wow, cheeky one dicer. Nope. Yeah, using a wizard would have been fine to get it, wouldn't it? I don't hate him using the wizard at any any point to uh, to secure the score. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, he wants to he wants to keep it. He wants to keep the wizard for defense, obviously, but. I wouldn't have hated him using a wizard um, just to secure the score. I wouldn't have hated it because it's so horrible for him, isn't it? It's yeah. Obviously, you want to, you obviously you don't want to use it, of course. But then um, I wouldn't have hated it just because he's in such a bad spot, isn't he? Like all round, he's in a bad spot. Look how bad his team is with that. Look how bad his team is. <laughs> He's got three, four, five, six, seven players on the pitch. I'll just go without using the wizard. So I think it's absolutely fine to use the wizard there. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have disagreed with it. And now it now he uses it anyway a turn later where the recovery's harder. Like, like, that's what he faced by not using the wizard. It was completely caged up, wasn't it? Yeah. Whereas if he'd used the wizard last turn, he would have had the ball in his end zone. Well, not in his end zone, at the end zone, feeling pretty happy about himself. So, yeah, I wouldn't have hit the wizard there at all. Yeah, I mean, the fact that the Woodies do have got so many loners makes them even worse as well, doesn't it? And the fact that Dwarves don't need skills, like at least Rookie Dwarves are still block tackle and everything, aren't they? Um, yeah, both both teams are quite poor, though. It's true. What was it? Elves. Oh, tackle! So he gets a screen out. I mean, this is this worked out well for him, hasn't it? Actually, not bolting because he got him an extra. He got a he got a kind scatter, didn't he? And uh, an extra turn of stall out of it. Got the recovery back. That was a great turn for him to get back on top of things.
It is sick that they've got tackle on everyone in it, so like the ones are bad. Yeah, he did use rerolls, that's true. That's true, he did use him two rerolls. But he still he still got out of it though, didn't he? He's still out of it, he's got the ball. But yeah, being out of reroll is obviously horrible. Going for another dodge with his uh with his guy. His hero, her hero dwarf. This should get him another turn of stall, at least, shouldn't it? I'm not sure about that blitz. I think I would have uh, just run past and blitz with a journeyman uh, in case of a double skull. I know that's technically not as good odds, but um, without rerolls, I would have been terrified of the double skull just losing me the game right there and then. Five tackle gets him. Will he be able to get another turn of storm? Maybe not. Yeah, it does feel like it's all at once, but obviously he's he's uh, <laughs> the fact that he's got the tackle all the time. Means that he hasn't, you know, it's, it's, he's having to do one in six fails rather than one in 36 fails, hasn't he? So it's more noticeable, for sure. But yeah, it does feel like he's all the lost ones. Let's tackle on the ball. So yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna struggle to stall here, isn't he? <laughs> He'd have to leap, basically, wouldn't he, to stall the other side? Um, so, yeah, he's just going to dodge out score. Gets it. So, it's pretty good, isn't it? Only three turns for the dwarves. Obviously, you'd have liked only three turns with a wizard. And he's only got seven players. Three, six, eight players. Eight players, that's not bad, is it? Eight players on turn 14, after 14 turns, that, that's only three players removed from 14. You've got to be pretty happy with that as elves. Obviously, you'd have liked a reroll left and you would have liked a wizard left. But, um, it's doable. Yeah, he does have the extra edge fours. But, um,. <laughs> Too much dodge. Mm. There, there is a way. There is a way. Yeah, in ruins. I see what you mean. It's, it's something that I, I. It's one of the reasons why I tend to go like wrestle on, on elves. Wrestle first skill on elves a fair amount of the time is because I think like your worst matchup is dwarves, and dodge doesn't help you in that one, whereas wrestle does. Of course, in CCL there's a vast, vast uh, number of chaffs and dwarves compared to like you know tabletop that's why you go dodge first in table like table uh tt tournaments naf tournaments you always go dodge because dodge is the best <laughs> doesn't make it three dice gets one assist in and then doesn't make it three dice interesting um that was a huge kick wasn't it i think he, he just caught it didn't he so it was absolutely massive I mean, it could have had the kick that the uh, Nurgle had against me, and it could have been over here. Uh, you probably want four killers, Crazy Blue Prime, is, is ideal, I think. Yeah, it, it, indeed, Wolfbark. I mean, I think you always want it, though. I think you always want it on a ball carrier. It's always worth having dodge on your ball carrier. Um, absolutely. I think it's absolutely always worth having dodge. Nah, fair enough, careful. A lot of people go dodge, though, don't they? I think more, more people go dodge in, on the tabletop than not. But 
Yeah, he didn't. That was a not a good roar, was it? He didn't. He didn't get any defense. <laughs> he didn't get any defense in, did he? I don't like the uh, Woody's setup, to be honest. And I, he just didn't get any. Whoa, there's a double skull. Oh yeah, L's have got edge four as well, though, haven't they? Um, so, but you'd still, I'd still take dodge on the ball carrier and human. It's just because dodge on the ball carrier is is always worth, isn't it? That's the thing. He's gonna go for the handoff. So again, he's just in range, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Woody's could have defended better here. But it doesn't even get to do that. <laughs> so going overtime, and if the Woody's receive. They can just score, can't they? Just do a one-turner without any re-rolls. No, I wouldn't have even bothered with that. I tell you. Would not have even bothered with that. Just hide. I mean, he was blitzing with a tree. Just hide after that. I disagree. I think it's always worth having dodge on a carrier. Always. I would always, always, always take dodge on a carrier. And I would always take on bull sentinels as well. But then bull sentinels actually dodge, don't they? So the Woodies did win the toss. And they've still got eight players. So getting to overtime with eight players and using the wizard is a fine result for the Woodies, isn't it? But not having a... And receiving, of course is huge. Not having a reroll is also huge though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? Ball carriers maybe is better than thrower, is what I should have said. Like uh, Norse runners, for example. Yeah, I mean, he, he could go for the he could go for the one turner here, couldn't he? But this is actually a better one turn defense than his one turn defense, isn't it? <laughs> this is a better one turn defense than Doc Mark's actual one turn defense, uh, which is pretty funny. Get the ref. That's not what the Woodies wanted. Oh, and a brutal kick! That is exactly the same kick as what my as what the Nurgle did against me. Wow! If the if the dwarves had got that kick, this might have been a this might have not made it all the time. Wow! Really horrible without any rerolls, though, isn't it? He's running him out there. He kind of had to go this way as well, didn't he? Because if he, he couldn't have gone where the blodge stand firm is. What a horrible kick. I guess he's, at least he's got edge five to throw it. Right, we'll see some we'll see some vicious manzing here, no doubt. <laughs> He hasn't got anyone that, that can't be mansed. He can surf as well. And it's uh, pretty horrible. Pretty horrible for the uh, elves. Oof, GFI. 
So you put in the runner here so we can 2D then surf. He does. Powers him. Powder! Ouch. Killed him. Killed his one of his best players. This poor Wood Elf team. He's, he hasn't got a team. He had to, he's got like two players and one of them's just died. <laughs> wow, that's brutal. And he doesn't get the surf. But he gets a Kaz anyway. <laughs> oh Christ. That's brutal, isn't it? That is absolutely brutal. Um, he's going for a pass here. What he should have done was um, leap with him and 2D'd him first, right? That's what he should have done. Gone for Because if he passes this, it's a 3 plus catch. And he's got tackle. Oh no, he's had, he's had, yeah, he's had 3. So it'd be a 3 plus catch. And then a 3 plus 2 plus against tackle. Um, so you should do the leap first, right? Because also if you fail the leap, the ball isn't exposed. So it's because right in the corner. So absolutely should have done the leap first. Leap blitz. And then he wouldn't have been in tackle zone anymore. But he does the pass. And the Troll Slayer. <laughs> the Troll Slayer grabs it. <laughs> so, isn't that a load of shit? Poor old Vaxxon. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that is it. That is a Jack. <laughs> the Jack Ginger Cunt grabs it out of the air. And that is pretty much GG now, isn't it? That is going to be him getting surfed. Ginger cunt, is that a Dancer jack? surfed as well. <laughs> yep, yeah, he's done. Yeah, three, you've got to have throw rather, haven't you? Howdy, Salt Lord. <laughs> Thanks, Machine. Gets the push. Oh, he looked with the wrong guy, though. He should have surfed him, shouldn't he? I would have surfed him. Oh no, I wouldn't have rolled a pal. I wouldn't have KO'd him though. <laughs> oh well. 3D. Gets the pal. Well, these last few turns have just deleted his team, haven't they? Now he's got no one left. Crazy that he held up so well, though, through normal time. I mean, he had eight players in overtime. Start of overtime, he still had eight players. And then uh, just everybody died. <laughs> Everyone got removed. <laughs> another, another armor break. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Silver the Anarchist, no. He is the guy that said that because he did a terrible one-turn defense. And uh, Kfool and I thought he should have moved up with his dwarves when he had, when we had space to do so, space and opportunity to do so um, against Andy Davo. He did not do that, and then for you know he's just some people do take issue with the casting, um, but you know what can you do? You just you just saying what you think, isn't it? No one should uh, no one should really think too much about it. Snotlings ball carriers. Yeah, I use the Snotlings as ball carriers, absolutely. Well. This is this is pretty much it, isn't it? I don't think the catcher can even reach. He, can, he could base, he could base the ball with a catcher. That's all he can do. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. You can base the ball with a catcher and then hope that Doc Mark rolls a one in 40,000 to not free him. He's doing it as well. Wow, the opposite of me in the playoffs. The absolute opposite of me. He's throwing everything. He's throwing everything at it. Fair enough. The yes, the touchdown. So there you go. So he'll be playing High Lord Salt in the semi final. And uh, I'm gutted that he's not playing me because I don't think I don't think the Nurgle or the Chaos would have had anything to fear from this dwarf team. I think it'll be an absolute smashing of this team. I don't see him 
having any chance. I mean, maybe with like a lucky wizard um, and, you know, the vampire dwarf. But um, that was uh, that was really one side. It, was, it actually wasn't that bad until overtime, was it, really? I mean, to be honest, that really could have ended the other way. Um, so, you know, fair play to Varkton. He stuck it in. He gave it everything, didn't he? Um, in stark contrast to myself, who just tried to win without taking any damage. <laughs> what an idiot. I should have I should have thrown the whole kitchen sink at it. The, the, the same way Hylod Salt did. So, you know, and uh, and Varkson gave his all. Couldn't do it. So there you go. Fair play to him. And well done, Doc Mark. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.